NDM or New Austrian Tunneling Method was developed between 1957 and 1965 in Austria. It was given its name in Salzburg in 1962 to distinguish it from Old Austrian Tunneling approach. The fundamental difference between this new method of tunneling, as opposed to earlier methods, comes from the economic advantages made available by taking advantage of the inherent geological strength available in the surrounding rock mass to stabilize the tunnel. NTM has dynamic design approach based on rock mass classification, as well as the in-situ deformation. The NRDM is not a set of specific excavation and support techniques and has often been referred to as a design-as-you-go approach. The NRDM broadly based on the following principles. First of all the strength of the rock mass is ascertained and accordingly round length or blast length along with type of primary supports is decided. After ascertaining the rock mass, face drilling is done with the help of boomer and charging of explosives is done in the holes at face of tunnel. The pattern of charging and quantity is decided on the base of rock mass classification. In the next step controlled blast is done and blasted mark is removed. After the blasting and demucking, for minimizing the loosening and excessive rock deformation a thin layer of shot shotcrete is immediately provided. Based on the computation of the optimal cross section, only a thin shot shotcrete protection is necessary. It is applied immediately behind the excavated tunnel face to create a natural load bearing ring and minimize the rock's deformation. Every deformation of the excavation must be measured. NTM requires installation of sophisticated measurement instrumentation. It is embedded in lining, ground, and the holes. Geotechnical instruments are installed to measure the later deformation of excavation. The primary lining by a flexible combination of rock bolts, wire mesh and steel ribs or lattice girder is provided along with thick layer of shot creep varying 150 to 300 mm according to the rock mass classification. Quickly closing the invert and creating a load bearing ring is important. It is crucial in soft ground tunnels where no section of the tunnel should be left open even temporarily. In the final stage of NRTM, secondary lining is done with desired thickness of RCC layer depending upon the deformation of primary lining. NRTM has some advantages over other method of tunneling. The NRTM has flexibility of selection of support to be provided which mainly depends on the rock condition. The NRTM is able to deal with locally unexpected ground condition, minimizing claims. The NRTM is economical because support provided is required by the encountered rock conditions, in contrast to TBM segments, which are designed for worst load case. <laughs>